after a week off, we are back at Kroger. And not only are we back, but we are back for a new mega event. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me, and we are going to be doing an all-grocery mega event haul. Let's get started. Before I hop into the deals, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the Kroger mega event. The Kroger Mega Event is essentially a sale that Kroger runs on select items throughout the store. This sale promotion is usually when you buy five or more participating items, you will save a dollar on each one. Now, a couple of things to note. Not every item in the store is part of the Mega Event. Only select participating items are part of the Mega Event. You will know whether or not an item is participating based on the price tag. On the price tag, it will say buy five or more, save a dollar on each. The key thing to this promotion, y'all, is you must buy at least five participating items. If you do not buy at least five, you will not save a dollar on any of them. Now, back in the day, some of y'all may remember that you used to have to buy in increments of five in order to get the dollar off, but that is not the case anymore. You can buy five, you can buy six, you can buy 13, you can buy 22, you can buy 100. It doesn't matter, but you must buy at least five in order to get that dollar off of each item. Now that we know a little bit more about the Kroger Mega Event, let me show you some deals that I'm picking up this week. Now, this first deal is not a Mega Event deal, but I thought this was pretty good for this pack of Muscle Milk Protein Shakes. These are normally $7.99, but they are on sale for $6.99. And you can pick up the zero ones if you'd like, or you could pick up the regular. You want to look in your Kroger app under the digital coupons and see if you have this $5 off savings for you digital coupon. As we know, savings for you coupons do vary by account, but go ahead and check yours. You never know, you might just have it. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that coupon and use it on this product. Once I enter my phone number at checkout, that $5 will deduct, leaving me to pay just $1.99 for a pack of four. Of course, I had to check the clearance section, and I found a bunch of boxes of these Captain Crunch Red, White, and Blue Crunch cereal on clearance for just $1.79. These will probably be marked down at quite a few stores as Memorial Day has already passed and we are approaching 4th of July. Check your clearance section and around your store to see if they have this marked down. So not only is it on clearance, but it is also part of the mega event. So I'm going to end up paying just 79 cents for one box. We have a super easy deal that anyone can do on the Siggy's yogurt. These are normally $1.99, but they are on sale this week for for $5. So making them $1.25 each. I'm going to go ahead and pay that $1.25 out of pocket for one, but then I'm going to take my receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give me a dollar back. That's going to bring my final net total down to just $0.25 cents for one thing of Siggy's yogurt. We have an awesome deal on some Butterfinger and Crunch Minis candy at Kroger. They are on sale this week for $3.49, down from $4.79. What's making these such a great deal is that we have a swag bucks offer for $6 back when we buy two. There is a limit of two per day for the offer, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up four bags. I'm going to pick up two of the Butterfingers and two of the Crunch. My total out of pocket for all four bags is going to be $13.96, but then I'm going to submit my receipt to swag bucks where I should get back $12, $6 for each set of two, making my final net total for all four bags just $1.96. Another candy deal that we can do, you want to look for the Sour Punch Strawberry Straws. They are normally $1.49, but they are on sale four for $5 or $1.25 each. Before you head to checkout, you're going to want to go into your Kroger app and clip this $0.25 cent Kroger cash back offer. So my store only had two packs left of the Sour Punch Straws, so that's what I'm going to pick up. So in about 48 to 72 hours, my Kroger cash back account will be credited with $0.50, cents, $0.25 cents for each pack that I picked up. I'm then going to pay the $2.50 out of pocket, but then I'm going to take my receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give me back $0.75 cents for each one, so a total of $1.50. My final net total for both packs after Kroger Cashback and Ibotta is just $0.50 cents or $0.25 cents each. We have a fantastic deal on the Velveeta and Kraft Shell Mac and Cheese this week. These are normally $3.79 each, but they are on sale for $3.49 and part of the mega event, making them $2.49 each. In the 612 Smart Source inserts, we got a $3 off three manufacturer coupons that you can use on these. 
I also have a dollar and 15 cent savings for you digital coupon in my Kroger app that I'm also going to clip. Since that is a store coupon, I can combine it with the manufacturer coupon from the smart source inserts. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up three at $2.49 each after mega event savings and use both of those coupons, which will lead me to pay $3.32 out of pocket. I'm then going to take my receipt and submit it to checkout 51, where I'm going to get $1.50 back for buying two. Now, normally you cannot combine checkout 51 offers with coupons. However, this offer for the Velveeta and Kraft Mac and Cheese does not state that it cannot be combined with any other offer like other rebates. So I'm gonna submit my receipt to checkout 51 and I'm also going to submit it to Ibotta. On Ibotta, we have two separate offers. We have one for the Velveeta and one for the Kraft. So if you wanna maximize your Ibotta offers, if you're trying to reach any bonuses, at least grab one of each. I'm grabbing two Velveeta and one Kraft. Each offer on my Ibotta is for 50 cents. So I'm gonna end up getting back a dollar for the Velveeta and 50 cents back on Ibotta for the Kraft. After cash back from both Checkout 51 and Ibotta, I am left to pay a net total of just 32 cents for all three boxes or a little over 10 cents each. The last deal on this haul is for the Core Bars. These are normally $2.99, but they are on sale for $2.49 and part of the mega event, making them $1.49 each. My store only has the coconut chocolate chip in stock, so we'll roll with that. I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of them. In the Kroger app, see if you have this $2 off two savings for you coupon, and if you do, go ahead and clip it. Once mega event savings and that coupon are applied at checkout, you'll be left to pay $0.49 cents for each one or a total of $0.98 cents out of pocket. I'm then going to take my receipt and submit it to Ibotta, where Ibotta is going to give me back $0.50 cents for each one, making both of them free. There are multiple offers for the different flavors of Core Bars, so if your store has more flavors in stock, try to grab multiple so that way you can maximize your Ibotta rebates. Okay, y'all, let's take a look at our receipts and recap this haul. I ended up splitting this haul into two transactions. On my first receipt, I have the Butterfingers and Crunch Bars only. You guys know I love to split up my swag bucks offers from the rest of my items in my haul. It makes it a little bit easier for swag bucks to locate the items on the receipt. Sometimes when there is too many, swag bucks has a hard time and I don't always get credited for the items that I purchased. So I have all four items that I purchased here, the two Butterfinger and the two Crunch, and I paid $13.96 plus tax out of pocket. I went ahead and submitted my receipt to swag bucks and with no problem at all, I was credited the $12 in swag bucks that I was expecting for all four bags of candy. On my second receipt, I have all of my remaining items. On this receipt, we have a total of six participating mega event items. At the top of the receipt, we have the Captain Crunch. And as you can see, the dollar did come off for the mega event. Then we have the Sour Punch Straws. We had no coupons for that. As well as the Siggies, there was no coupons for that either. Then I had the Muscle Milk four pack of shakes. It was originally $6.99, but as you can see, the $5 off savings for you coupon did apply, leaving me to pay $1.99 out of pocket for that. Next, we have the core bars. And if you guys were watching my deal and are familiar with my videos, you probably assumed we were gonna have an issue with the core bars as they are a part of the mega event and we used a digital coupon. Now, this doesn't happen for all items that are part of the mega event and using a digital coupon. It usually happens when a digital coupon says, like, get a dollar off when you buy two or like in this case, two off of two. What usually happens is a dollar does not come off for one item for the mega event. So that is exactly what happened here. You can see one of the bars was 49 cents and the other is a dollar and 49 cents. So what I do, I just go to customer service and ask them for the dollar. And literally she just handed me a dollar and moved on and went about her day. So most people are willing to help you when that does occur. Last up is the mac and cheese. You can see that the $1.15 e-coupon did come off. It's up there on that first one, making that $1.34. And then also down below towards the bottom, you can see the scan coupon. That is the $3 off of three for the mac and cheese. That applied as well. So my final net total for this receipt was $10.83 plus tax once I got that dollar back from customer service for that mega event dollar not coming off of my transaction. I then submitted my receipt to Ibotta where I redeemed five total offers. I got back a total of $1.50 for the Sour Punch, a dollar back for the Siggies, a dollar back for the Velveeta, 50 cents back for the Kraft, and then a dollar back for the Core Bars. I also received an additional dollar back on Ibotta as I had a bonus when I redeemed five offers between Monday and today, I got an extra dollar. I also submitted my receipt to Checkout 51, where I have been credited the $1.50 for purchasing at least two Velveeta or Kraft mac and cheese products. 
Finally, I checked my Kroger Cash Back account to see if the Sour Punch candy offer had disappeared. When it disappears, it usually means it is processing with no problem. However, once I checked my account, it is still there, so I will probably have to contact customer service for 50 cents or just let it go. Here is a final overview of the entire haul. The retail value of everything is $52.96, but after sale and clearance pricing, it is $41.94. We had six total mega event items taking off $6 and used $10 in total coupons, making our out-of-pocket $24.79. For cash back, we submitted our receipt to Ibotta for $6 back, Swagbucks for $12, Checkout 51 for $1.50, and Kroger cash back for $0.50, cents, making our final net total for everything $4.79 or right over 90% savings. That's going to do it for this week's Kroger haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not currently yet signed up for any of the rebate apps featured in this video, you can do so through the description down below. I have links for each one. Be sure to sign up as for some of them, you will unlock welcome bonuses when you do so. Be sure to also give this video a thumbs up before you go and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.